now we're back. We're not really back. I just booped. Um, let me move the camera to the uh, right. Pop, pop, pop. Perfect. And uh, let's watch the intro. Starting now. Did you not? I just got the chills. I do not know how to explain it, but that ending scene gave me the chills. Uh, let's boop right now. Uh, you know what? Just, just do this in one video. Whatever. Let me fix the camera. Uh, dude. That intro. That intro just, oh, I still feel it. It's like so, it gave me the chills. And no, 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 because what? I'm trying to construct something for you guys and, and organize my thoughts, but it's just the lyrics, the visuals, everything that's happening, and then the depictions of the things that we're seeing. Oh, man. Let's start with the lyrics. Maybe it's red like roses. Or maybe it's the pools of blood. The innocence, the innocence, well, the, the innocence, well, no. The cost of trusting you is obliteration. What? That's like. It made my mouth dry and everything. I need to change some water. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm still. Maybe it's red like roses. Maybe it's the pools of blood. Their dying eyes are white and white as snow. The cost of trusting you is obliteration. Mirrors will shatter, crushed by the weight of the world. The pillars will fall in shame. The, the, the weight of all the things that are being said right now. It's... What? No, 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 no. I'm not going there. But, oh my goodness. Maybe it's red like roses, or maybe it's the pools of blood. That just makes that makes my original theory about 
Red like roses. Bring me back to the place you rest. It's not the right tone, but I'm just mentioning the lyrics. Fills my dreams and brings me back. And also the... the, 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 the fills my dreams. Fills my dreams is what it says. Red like roses. Blood fills my dreams. Maybe it's red like roses. Or maybe it's the pools of blood. What? No. What? I can't. I can't. I can't get over this right now. So let's break it down. Oh my gosh, the Colosseum. The Colosseum is going to be a very important thing in this. And I, I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you. And I'm, I'm. Oh my goodness. Oh man, it's all there. It's all there. It's all there. What it stands for. What the reason behind the Vital Festival that we just saw in the World of Remnant video. The the accomplishment of all the kingdoms working together. Oh man, that's the target. That is the target of what is going to happen. And there's going to be a lot of death. And there's going to be a lot of tragedy. And there's going to be a lot of craziness. And the reason I say this is because right there in the intro, when they're showing the people, the the, the people, the, the the characters, Team Ruby, uh, Cinder, Mercury, and everybody else, when they're showing them, the background is the Colosseum. And at one point, when it's coming down and the camera is spinning around, it's the octagon that I just mentioned right now. It's there. Something is going to happen in the Colosseum. The innocents will know the truth of costing you is obliteration. Mirrors will shatter. Mirrors will shatter. What does this mean? Mirrors will shatter. Basically, the illusion will not will no longer be able to sustain itself the illusion of this false reality or this this lie man i'm thinking about all the other songs in volume 2 now the lie spreading your lies breeding hate is not what they seem Mirrors will shatter. The truth will finally be revealed. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Mirrors will shatter. Crushed by the weight of the world. And then they show and then they show the Atlas military with an army and, and, and James in the front. The pillars will fall in shame. Hey, 
Achoo. Oh, excuse me. Somebody talking about me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, the pillars will fall in shame. What is a pillar? A pillar is basically a structure that serves as a foundation or support to hold another structure. In other words, the pillars will fall in shame. Why would a pillar fall in shame? The pillar will fall in shame because it recognizes that what it was holding up was not what it was meant to be, so it feels ashamed and therefore falls to bring down the rest of the structure. Uh, that's the best I can come up with. Let me do another round. What is a pillar? A pillar is a structure, foundation, support, reliability, something that you can depend on. Why would it fall in shame? It falls in shame because realization. It stood for something that was not right. It stood for something that was a lie. As the, this is, I'm, going, I'm going back in the same direction. The pillars will fall in shame. Mirrors will shatter, crushed by the weight of the world. Pillars will fall in shame. The castle will come crumbling down. The structure, society as, we'll know, as we know it, will change. Things are not what they seem to be. And we will reveal it with the weight of the world. With reality with how whoever believes things could be. Mirrors will shatter, the, the, the image will be broken. <laughs> Crushed by the weight of the world. The reality and the weight of the world is that you cannot sustain a lie. You cannot sustain something that is not true, something that cannot be supported, because reality, the real reality, the world, is infinite weight. The reality of truth is infinite. And no matter how well or how good you spin a lie, eventually, the weight of the world will crush it and shatter the mirror. What is this lie? What is this in this, this this insane humongous lie that has been able to sustain itself for all this time and now the weight of the world will crush it. What what is it? Because it talks about it in volume two songs, Breeding Lies. It talks about um, Tell Your Lies. Different songs talk about lies, lies, lies. And now it's time for the mirrors to shatter. Because the weight of the world is coming to town. Why and what are we talking about? The pillars will fall in shame. Based on the mirror and everything that everyone believed, the pillar stood proud. But once the mirror shattered and we are able to see what's behind it, the truth of things, the pillar is like, ooh. What are we doing? In shame. Oh. I'm missing information here, I think. I can't... I don't know what this lie is. I don't know what these things are. What these things are. But there's something there. Um, pillars will fall in shame. 
There'll be no love, there'll be no rest, there'll be no hero in the end who will rise above. I think I mixed up the lyrics. <laughs> it didn't rhyme. There'll be no love. No, no hero in the end. There'll be no rest, there'll be no love, there'll be no hero in the end who will rise above. That's how it goes. I remembered it, I'm sorry. I'm happy that I remember it, but the weight of the lyrics, <laughs> the weight of the lyrics, um, there'll be no hope, there'll be no love. There'll be no hero in the end who will rise above. So in other words, it's defeat. It's total defeat. Um, no hope, no love, no hero in the end who overcomes things. And when it ends, victory for hate incarnate, misery and pain or sadness, misery and pain, pain for all. So the bad guy wins. If the bad guy is winning, when it ends, and during the process, mirrors shattered, pillars fell in shame, innocence trusted the good guy, and the truth of trusting them is obliteration, death, and pools of blood, and pools of blood, and pain, misery, sadness, despair, loss of hope. Who is the bad guy? Who is the good guy? Why did they show Ospin and Glinda in the window when it said the keyword mirrors will shatter and the Grim were all behind the glass? And you know what else I noticed? There was this black ball of energy that I think it was very familiar because in volume one we also saw it. We saw this black energy lightning thingy but in volume one the black light energy thingy was in the center of everybody facing outward so it's an enemy from within if it's a representation of enemy Enemy from within, so I'm guessing it's a reference to Cinder. Maybe I'm going on a limb here. I'm not quite sure, but that black energy thing, and then we see it again in Volume Three. I don't quite remember if it was in Volume Two. Maybe it was. I'm not sure, but Volume Three, it's there, and then when it's there, it shows everybody falling. Holding hands, holding on to each other. And as they're falling, I couldn't help but notice because my eyes are instinctively attracted to Pira. So wherever she sees, like, there she is, there she is. I couldn't help but notice that she was the first one to let go and fall away in a very out of control manner. And that is very unsettling for me at this point. As Pira fell, the rest of the team started breaking apart, and the last one left in despair was Ruby, concerned for everybody else going their different directions. And the final scene shows Everybody in Team Ruby, defeated, looking down, in give-up mode, 
except for Ruby, who is also defeated, or maybe weighed down by something. The concern that she had falling down, and then her looking up with, like, broken spirit, sadness. I'm not sure. But that's a very unsettling feeling I got from the end there. Something bad is coming. Something really bad is coming. Rewind really quick to a little bit forward and there was a picture. But before the picture there was Weiss with somebody uh, who I'm guessing is her sister because it looked just like her and then the guy that had the really cool looking sword device that Yang drew on the board and also the one that was No, I, th I think I've seen them. He was... He communicated to Ospin about something. But anyway, so I'm, I'm guessing that's Crow. That would be Crow because of the uh, the gear design and... And, um, um, and he called, spoke to Ospin and gave a report at one time so that's crow and then the other one is Weiss's sister and apparently they don't get along so they were like Arr. and then it like the picture flew by and it showed it showed what I believe to be Ruby and Yang's dad crow the mysterious woman in red, which we were going to go with Yang's mom, and somebody wearing a right hood that I'm also going to say is Ruby's mom, Summer Rose. I know the I know the seriousness and the tone of this, but I, I'm I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mention it out there. Uh, <laughs> Ruby's dad and, and the Yang's dad, he gets all the ladies. Sorry, <laughs> I did it. I'm sorry. I felt immediate regret when I said it. <laughs> Crow, <laughs> Crow got left behind. Um, uncle Crow, if he's an uncle to Ruby and Yang, he's brother to. One of the other three. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to reserve my thoughts for now. I don't know. Let's leave it there for now. Um, yeah, let's leave it there for now. It's been it's been a long, long recording. My computer might blow up. Anything else from the opening? I didn't use my phone, but I think I said everything that I was thinking about when I was watching that uh, intro. It gave me the chills. It really did. Unsettling business. Very uncomfortable. Well, we'll continue this. We'll continue watching this next episode. Um, before that, minor 
post video announcement. Um, I think my hair is fabulous. I love my hair. I think it's great. But I'm gonna get a haircut soon. <laughs> I need it. It's too. It's too big. I have too much hair. Um, yeah. So next episode that you'll see me, I'll probably be shaved a little bit, trimmed, and uh, and a haircut. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> anyway, um, once again, thank you so much. I really mean it. I thank you so much for your support and for watching. Um, I love doing these videos. It's really great. I, I, I sit down and I record and, and then I can post it online and you guys comment on it and then I can just comment back and we can have nice conversations and I think it's great. Um, I'm still thinking about the opening, oh my goodness, but we'll get to it when we get to it. So, we'll leave it here for now. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. And if you like what I do, I highly recommend you follow the Twitter account that I made. Um, I put updates of what's going on. You, if you're new to the channel, you might notice that there are some things some big spaces in between videos um, it's just the way my life is so sorry <laughs> at the beginning I was able to pump out a bunch all at once but then it's like <laughs> like responsibility went up and productivity went down <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to explain it but uh, that's 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 pretty much gist of it so <laughs> um, but yeah to all really quick also to all my patreon supporters it's amazing you guys are so cool and so awesome that i cannot thank you enough so once again in all my videos thank you it 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 really means i don't want to say a lot because that's really cliche but it tells me the uh, the interest and the excitement level that you have. You're willing to donate a little bit for me, and 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 and, and that speaks so much to me, and I appreciate it. I really do. So thank you. Um, I haven't checked the channel in forever. I don't know how many subscribers I have. Last I checked was like ten. Two thousand and two, I don't know. But anyway, I'm I'm getting carried away with the blabbing. We'll leave it here for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all your support. Um thank you for joining me for another episode of Watch Along with Char Fox. That was me. And um thank you. Truly. Until next time. Bye bye. Wahoo,